Hello and welcome to Worship Room. It's so good to be with you guys today. My name is Laura and this is Nathan and we are worshipping together in a basement in Newcastle. <laughs> but we hope that wherever you are, that you really experience God's presence as we join together and, and sing together. And yeah, my prayer for you today is that you will just experience the fullness of God's grace and His peace on your life. And yeah, I just encourage you to sing with us. The Father 
In Matthew 6, verse 30, in the message translation, it says, If God gives, and this is Jesus speaking, he says, If God gives such attention to the appearance of wildflowers, most of which are never even seen, don't you think he'll attend to you, take pride in you, do his best for you? What I'm trying to do here is get you to relax, to not be so preoccupied with getting so you can respond to God's giving. People who don't know God and the way He works fuss over these things, but you know both God and how He works. Steep your life in God reality, God initiative, God provisions. Do not worry about missing out. You'll find all of your everyday human concerns will be met. And this is the final verse and it says, Give your entire attention to what God is doing right now. Give your entire attention to what God is doing right now. And the other translations you would know so well, they say, seek first his kingdom and all of these things will be added to you. But I love this translation because it says, give all of your attention, all of your thoughts, even when everything else is crazy, everything else feels like chaos, Give your entire attention to what God is doing right now, even now. Don't get worked up about what may or may not happen tomorrow. God will help you deal with whatever hard things come up when the time comes. And as, not just as church people or as a particular denomination or as whatever, as people who go to a certain church, it's actually as people of God and people who are really here to seek first the kingdom of God. As, as God's people, we can have assurance that His promises are good and that His plans for us are good and that even as the wildflowers and as the lilies are so beautiful and are so looked after, how much more does God care for those who love Him and God cares for those whom He loves? The ones that we are made in His image, we are made as His people, the ones that He has chosen. And I just love what it says here about, I'm trying to get you to relax, to not be so preoccupied with getting, so that you can respond to God's giving. And in this season, when we're not together and we're kind of all everywhere and life is uncertain, I just want to encourage you that 
as we actually take a moment to breathe and to trust in God, but also to go, actually, it's not about my getting. It's about God's giving. And I just want to encourage you that God holds you in his hand. He holds each of us and he cares so deeply for you and for where you're at. And I just encourage you to give your attention to God. Give your attention to the things that he is doing because he's doing amazing things. And I just want to pray for us as we continue in worship. God, I pray that you would just remind us again of your your goodness. I thank you that you are our pastor, that you are our friend, that you're not distant, that you're not far from us, that you walk beside us even in this season. And I just pray for anyone who is lonely or for anyone who feels anxiety or fear or worry in this uncertain time, I just thank you that you would remind them of your concrete promises of your firm foundation that we would be reminded that as we seek you first that all of these things will be added to us but as we give our attention as we give our thoughts to you I just declare peace I just declare wholeness I declare that you would restore the joy of your salvation to your people that you would remind us again of your beautiful promises and your great faithfulness Lord God, we just give our attention to you above all the noise, above everything else, above the constant news cycle. We just give you our attention, even in this moment. We just breathe you in, God. We just declare that you are here and that you're making a way. We love you, God. Thank you, Jesus, for peace to wash over people like me.
stop, never stop working, never stop, never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. Never stop, never stop working. We thank you that you are our Father. We thank you that you are close to us. 
God, remind us again of who you are, of your presence, of your glory. Lord, I pray that we would just be reminded that you are you are our king, but you are our friend, and that you're our pastor, and our counselor, and our comforter.
just take a moment just to reminisce on how constant God actually is, how in control God is. He's our sure foundation. blessed. We're just going to pray a blessing over you as you go about your day. I pray that God, God, who is the source of hope, will fill us us completely with joy and peace because we place our trust in him and that you would overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be blessed. We love you and we'll see you very soon.